Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. FAA supports drone use for Houston response and recovery. Unique International announces availability of H520 commercial UAV. And insurance agencies use fleets of drones to assess Texas damage. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI. By late last week, the FAA had issued 43 unmanned aircraft system authorizations to drone operators supporting the response and recovery for Hurricane Harvey or covering it as part of the media. The authorizations cover a broad range of activities by local, state, and federal officials who are conducting damage assessments of critical infrastructure. The FAA issued eight of the approvals to a railroad company to survey damage along a major rail line running through the city. Five others were issued so energy companies could look for damage to their facilities. Local fire department and county emergency management officials are operating drones to check for any damage to local roads, bridges, underpasses, water treatment plants, and other infrastructure. State environmental quality officials are flying drones to understand the impacts of flooding and drainage, and cell tower operators are conducting damage assessments of their structures and associated ground equipment. In addition to the direct response and recovery efforts, four media outlets are operating drones over Houston to provide ongoing coverage to local residents and the rest of the world about flooding and damage in the Houston area. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. DJI has introduced two new drones, the Mavic Pro Platinum and Phantom 4 Pro Obsidian, and announced the Sphere Mode for the Spark at IFA 2017 in Berlin. The newly introduced Sphere Mode gives users more ways to enjoy the Spark by easily producing panoramic photos with a fisheye lens effect. The Lily Flying Camera Drone was one of those meteoric rise and fall stories that ended with the company filing for bankruptcy and many of the buyers who pre-ordered through a Kickstarter campaign are still waiting for refunds. But some of the assets of the company were purchased by an established California drone retailer called Moda Group and the drone has been revamped, outfitted with a 4K camera and is now available for order. Hopefully now people who bought the original Lily will get their refund. The first solar wing for Bi Aerospace's Strato AirNet, a solar electric unmanned aerial vehicle, has been completed and delivered by Sol Aero Technologies. Sol Aero is integrating their advanced, high efficiency solar cells on the graphite composite wing using proprietary methods to maintain the critical laminar flow surface on the wing. The initial wing solar cell configuration will deliver sufficient power approximately 12,000 watts under ideal daylight conditions at altitude to achieve sustained flight. Aeroprobe Corporation has announced two new micro air data computers, the Pegasus and Destiny models, to their product line. Used to collect and process airflow data across a variety of applications and industries, it offers a complete system for airflow data acquisition and analysis when used in combination with an air data probe. The Aero News crew is assembling an expert, if not eclectic, crew of drone pilots and reviewers to test and evaluate the latest in unmanned technology for our Airborne Unmanned Program for AUVSI, as well as the AMA Drone Report for AMA. Commercial drone pilot and FPV racer Casey Seelock is on board, as well as former AOPA president Phil Boyer, who has become a serious drone proponent. We're looking for your input on what vehicles, accessories, and products we need to evaluate in order to give you solid info on the products that interest you. Requests may be emailed to jim at aero-news.net. That was our Unmanned Minute, now back to the rest of the news. Unique has announced the availability of the H520 Small UAS, their first product offering dedicated to commercial use. The H520 system utilizes Unique's proven six rotor platform, incorporating enterprise grade cameras and mission planning software for high-end commercial use. The H520 small UAS is initially available with the E90 high-resolution camera utilizing a large aperture one-inch sensor. The E50 and CGOET are available for pre-order and will ship this fall. 
The entire line of commercial UAV will be offered with Unique's all-new YES commercial service program. The H520 small UAS, engineered for optimal use in industrial and commercial environments, features high visibility hazard orange fuselage and a six rotor design capable of emergency flight with only five rotors. The H520 modular design is compatible with Unique's E90, E50, and CGOET cameras. All commercial payloads are interchangeable and hot swap capable, offering time-saving convenience for the commercial operator. The YES Commercial Extended Service Program gives professional users peace of mind to minimize their small UAS downtime so they can focus on getting the job done. This program is comprised of four service package levels, ranging from bronze, silver, gold to platinum. The H520 is available in a variety of configurations with prices ranging from $1,999 to $4,699. Several insurance companies are using drone fleets to move in and assess damages now that the FAA is beginning to allow drone flights over areas ravaged by Hurricane Harvey. Damages from the storm could climb as high as $30 billion. Drones allow the companies to assess the damages without additional personnel. The drones will be used in situations where it might not be safe or even possible for adjusters to see damages firsthand. Drones make the process safer, faster, and at a lower cost. According to Allstate, the company will get permission from homeowners to use a drone to capture still and video images of their property which will be sent directly to a claim specialist. The plan is intended to expedite a process that often takes weeks or longer. Last year, following Hurricane Matthew, telecom companies such as Verizon used drones to check out critical infrastructure, such as cellular site locations for connectivity and damage. Using the aircraft was more efficient than using boats to check out each site individually, but Harvey will be the first time drones will be used to gather information about personal property in the wake of such a storm. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net. And more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.